Welcome back to In the Art Lab. This week, we it's been a while since we've posted, um, kind of had to get started on the semester, and you know how that goes. So uh, kind of everything's coming uh, completed right now, and we're getting going back up on our, our vlog, I should say. So this time, we have our AP Art and Design students critiquing their next sustain investigation. What they did for this project is they went back and reviewed or redid one that they've done previously. You know, as artists, we're always growing and exploring and diving deeper into our medium or our content. And they're on a long year long journey working through this same topic or essential question. Um, and sometimes we get a little down or we finish a project and man, I wish we would have done it this way or man, I should have done it that way or if I had the time chance to redo it, I would do it this way. Um, and this project allowed them to do that. Uh, so please take a look at their critiques, and I really hope that you enjoy hearing high school students talk about their artwork and their realness and authenticness and a little shyness in front of the camera. Uh, please enjoy, and as always, thank you so much for watching in the Art Lab. This is my sustained investigation number eight, right? Um, trying to think of my thing. Oh, my topic is reflection, reflecting on yourself, reflecting on who you want to be, and who you should be, and who you need to be. This is the first one. It's really bad. This don't look at this. It's really bad. And this is a new one. And I like the colors and what I did over here, and it looks better. So that's it. Abby. This is mine. Um, it's about <laughs> it's about finding the light even though you were drowning and you felt like you couldn't do anything, but then you realized that you could. And it's a it painted with acrylics, and I put a gloss varnish on it. And there's a girl, and she's looking up at the moon that's dripping moon yolk. Yolk. So that's I like that's it. Mine. Ready, Brie? Okay, so my sustained investiga investigation is about um, celebrity drug and alcohol abuse in the 80s. So I added pills and a spilled and broken bottle and yeah. Nice. That's good. Ready? This is mine. Um, for my sustained investigation is dealing with emotions and how some people express them and on my last one i wanted to focus on like when i originally started i wanted to focus on like being trapped and like thoughts of like the past and stuff and i felt like the skull would be re a better representation of the past and like there's my little character like inside the skull like actually trapped and i feel like it brings the idea across better and I really like it and I'm very proud. So. Me too. Thanks. Okay, so this is a recreation of my first sustained investigation, which was a painted acrylic telephone with a little heart being wrapped around the cord, but I changed it this time and I decided to go about it with a completely different style. Still sort of the same concept. I've got like this old fashioned telephone here on a little pile of gears, but I feel like the, I don't know, it doesn't look super defined, which I kind of like. Um, but yes, I prefer this version much, much more. It's lovely. Thank you. You're welcome. Be snacks. I can go. Okay. Okay. So, it's not done yet. Okay. So, no, I know. <laughs> but, so, it's completely different. I made, like, a 3D book where I'm going to watercolor the pages. <laughs> and it's from my second system investigation. But it's completely different because it's, like, popping up. So, yeah. yeah I like yeah. it. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, so this is a recreation of my third sustained investigation. I have Tourette's syndrome, as we all kind of um, see. And, um, so, I... Oh, didn't do the collage this time because I felt like for the first one it really like didn't really get like the in-depth of what it is So I had a the motor ticks on the left and the vocal ticks on the right. I have the 
two types of vocal tics I have, which are echolalia, which is where you repeat like what others say or certain sounds, and coprolalia, which is kind of what the media shows, which is um, like the swearing and bad stuff like that. And I have like different like non-word tics here. And the motor tics are like the physical, like so like I'll move weirdly, so I kind of like my arm tics, eye tics, and facial scrunching, and I kind of wrote how like these all like kind of take a toll like mentally, since my it's the same as because it's around mentality, so yeah, it's pretty. Okay. Explain. So this picture is supposed to represent the feeling of you dreaming when you're awake. And that's like, um, like uh, you know when you, like stuff goes wrong all the time? Yes. And you just kind of feel like, life. is this real? Yes. So, yeah, and the, uh, I purposely made it kind of blurry because it's a little distorted. It makes you feel a little bit uh, distorted, just like, you know, some events can in real life. Like, yes. you know, nothing, go nothing going your way or just kind of like events going how you just don't want them so yes. mm -hmm. life not going your way that's the that's the idea i like, I like it that. yeah i like it yeah, i like how it's too. like blurry but like you can still tell it it's not like a bad blurry it's like a good yeah. blurry yeah it's not like completely out of focus is what you're saying i like the composition you use if you know what i'm saying yeah like with the wall or the yes i like it yeah. even Thank though you. the printer kind of screwed up a little bit i still like the colors yeah, yeah. It, it, it didn't completely jack it up. Yeah. What was the green supposed to be? Like a blue? Or um, blue? The green is supposed to be just like a... Actually, I can show it to you on my phone. Pull it up. Yeah, pull, pull it, up. it up. We want to see it. Boo -boo. I like a yellow. That's cool. Yeah, just kind of like a yellow, normal reflection. I like it. Turn it oh, yeah. Okay. I know, I know. Okay, so for mine, my first one was... The, do you remember, Justin, the girl with the sim thing? Yes. I did. Yes. I redid her, but I made her a cowgirl with green hair. That's cute. And she's also black now, which I thought was really cute. And she has mm -hmm. a little denim shirt on. I, like I that. yeah, I think it's a lot better for my other one because I added more shading in it and more dimension. Mm -hmm. My hair looks bad. And I, I don't know. I didn't know what to do for the background, so I put stars. I like and then I skin. forgot. At first, I forgot to add the whole <laughs> reason I redid this, so I just added it up at the top. So yeah. I really Mine. like the colors. Thank you. I like the pink right next to the green, right next to the red and blue. Or little orangey red thing. I like it. I think Thanks. it does have, it has kind of a childlike-esque to it, and I, I like that. Yes, that's cute. good. That's no, cool. I know, that's like my style. I like being more cartoony and not as realistic, if you know what I'm saying. It's a mixture between immature and very mature. Oh, okay. Okay, that's so. That's very good. I hope you know. Thanks. Are, okay. Okay. <laughs> I still like it a lot. Okay, so it was a rough week rough two weeks for me so I have not been motivated to do anything and I, I did that. part of it I started it but it's not finished yet it'll get finished soon but I'm redoing my second sustained investigation or my third one whichever one mm -hmm. and it was one that I like just threw together in like five minutes because I hated my life then and I was like you know this looks like garbage so we're redoing it and I didn't like redo the picture itself I just went around the theme of using trash in the artwork because that was a piece that mainly had trash so this piece is in tight. Well, actually, I have a picture of my second sustained investigation. Did not have that photo. Give me you just one second. You have that many photos on your phone. I do not. I have four thousand. Okay. Yeah. See, this is the our second one. It was like literal trash, mm -hmm. and I just put it. I like this though. I thought it was focus. very simple. Put it. it was cute. Yeah, I did not like it, and I just threw it together. So now what we have is we're making a jellyfish entirely out of pop tabs. Cute. And then it's. How big is it? Um, it's decent. Like it's like three hundred pop tabs. It's like oh my gosh, that I love big. That. So yeah. And then so there's like cute. this little like the little like flower design that jellyfish have in them, like their nerves and stuff, there's that. That is so um, cute. It's gonna be like all neon colors. I think the colors that I have are a uh, fluorescent pink, a fluorescent blue, and then like a shade darker than the fluorescent pink for the little underneath thing. A magenta? Kinda, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, magenta. That. And then I'm going to put it on a black poster board. So, because, you know, neon and black just, like, go together. And then I'm probably going to, like, outline it in, like, a white paint pen, just kind of thing. Or outline certain parts of it and then add little bubbles. I don't know. Yeah, this I just did this just me. because I like jellyfish. It's so That's really impressive. Yeah, I really like it. It's I so like time-consuming. But it's going to be so good. It's gonna be I hope good. so. 
It literally took me an hour and a half just to lay out all of these. And I had to tear I'm, it back down. I'm so excited for you. It's going to be so freaking cool.